beautiful mommies so this video was requested from a subscriber and I'm so excited to share this with you Sergio so this is a breast pump that I use and I'm gonna or that I used I should say a lot uh, when I was pumping milk for Selena and I'm gonna show you guys how to use your breast pump so I've talked about it a lot and I'm all about, you know, natural mommyhood and doing things naturally for your baby. So I really want to share this with you moms who are just getting into this breast pumping thing, okay? Because if you can provide your baby with breast milk, there's so many amazing benefits. And I will leave a video that I produced on the benefits of breastfeeding right after this. So this is my Modella in style breast pump and it's the one in the back so it comes with four bottles uh, that you will pump your breast milk into when I first saw these I thought that's all <laughs> but you don't get a whole lot of milk at one time especially when you first start however some people get tons of milk and some people get less so you might have to work at it depending on you know how your body is and how it's responding to the milk production so these four bottles come with the breast pump and also you will have these two little coaster type things that hold the bottle inside which makes it really nice for when you're done breastfeeding or if you're taking a, a breast pumping rather um, or if you're taking a break you can just put it in there and not have to worry about the milk spilling out because when you get that milk it is precious trust me okay so I usually set it up like this I will go ahead and I will put them in the coasters and then I will take the tops off this is kind of the process my routine that I go through uh, when breast pumping then I will just there's a little um, there's two compartments here on this side and I usually keep the, I'm not sure what these are called, but this is the part that goes right on top of the bottle. I keep those in there as well as the phalanges, which is the part that actually connects to your body. And then I'll place these in here for temporary storage. On this side, the smaller side, I keep my nipple cream, because you never know, and also the cord that huge adapter and I keep my breast pumping bra which is amazing and you need it okay so on this side just so you are aware the in style breast pump comes with an insulated section uh, where you will put the milk in here and it actually comes with ice packs so I actually have those in the freezer right now but the ice packs go in here with the milk so when you're done pumping you don't have to worry about the milk going bad it lasts for 24 hours in here which is a relief so if you're at work you could just kind of put it to the side so there's three compartments there so you've got the silver compartment where it's insulated then you've got the smaller compartment that's a little more shallow so that's where I keep these kind of pieces and then you've got Kind of a deeper compartment and that's where I'll keep like I said the bra the lanolin cream and um, a adap the adapter for the breast pump. okay so this front pocket here is very important I just keep in here these tubes these are the, the tubes that bring air from uh, the pump to reach your breast to pump that milk out and um, I would just plug plug this in on both sides like so you can see this like so and then the middle this middle little uh, contraption here is if you only want to pump one side you would take that and you would you would put it on either side so that the pressure will still be the same so this little latch right here in the middle I, if I want to only pump one breast I would pull this out and then I would move it on over 
And I would do this because sometimes I fed Selena so much that I did not have time to pump and I wasn't working at that time. So I would pump and feed her at the same time and I'll show you that trick at the end of the video of how I did that successfully. Okay, so this, this right here is where the adapter goes to plug it in. There's a little hole so I take the adapter, I plug it in and then I plug it into the wall. Then this is a little button right here, this is a little yellow button and I didn't quite understand this for the longest time but it's the let down button which means that when your milk starts to flow you press this button and then the breast pump will begin to pump more vigorously because when you first start pumping it takes, well for me it took two minutes before my milk started, any milk started to come out. It was a very slow process for me. I was up and down, but like I said, everybody is different. But yeah, pumping for me was a pain. Um, however, it wasn't painful. It was actually less painful than breastfeeding. And um, I just didn't like it. I, I rather that connection with her. It, it was just, just so much easier. However, this was necessary because I had to go to work and um, I'm grateful that something like this exists. So continuing on with the routine. So I'm gonna plug this back in because I'm gonna show you a double breast uh, pumping situation, which is preferred <laughs> because the more milk you can get out at once, the better. Now, before I uh, continue, I do wanna point something out. So these uh, co contraptions here have this little valve that pops off. It's a little small little white valve and it's very easy to lose these but in order to clean it you have to take this off and uh, this clear part and the yellow part actually separates and uh, the milk flows through the phalange so from your breast right this is your breast through the phalange down this little canal and then it filters through this little uh, this little white valve and then into the bottle <laughs> so you just screw it on like that and screw this on like that now to get this this bad boy on this is what I did so I would get the bra which has two holes in the front for the phalange I would always wear uh, something like what I'm wearing now where I can unzip so I can get to my rest or a shirt that I could pull up and uh, still kind of cover myself because you never know who might walk in accidentally. So I would, I would kind of leave it a little bit unzipped so that I could easily just put those bad boys in there. And then you have to make sure that your nipple is right in the middle. If you're, and this is where you find out if, if you have the right size uh, phalange. Your nipple, um, I believe, has nothing, the nipple size has nothing to do with your breast size, so you might have bigger or smaller nipples, it's a thing. Uh, and if your nipple is touching the phalange, then you know that it is too small for you. So make sure that your nipple is uh, um, not too much bigger or smaller they need to be right in the middle of this flange so then I would just pop this on pop that on once those are in I would zip this bad boy up all the way so that I know it's secure because the tighter it is the more likely I am to get um, well not really tighter the more secure and more in place it is I don't have to worry about moving it around too much it'll kind of stay in place so then the next step as you probably saw was me plugging in the air the air uh, what do you call these like cords we'll call them in and now I'm completely ready to start pumping so I plug this in I'm not near an alley right now so but I plug this in and then I would just there's a little knob and I would turn this knob and I normally had it starting at one to the third connector and then after my nipples expand and my milk starts to come out because you will notice as you start pumping your nipples will get bigger and that's when you'll really know if it fits you. Uh, your nipples will expand because they're secreting the milk, the milk is coming out 
and at that point um, I would turn it up a little bit more I could handle a little more pressure once my milk was let down and if some re for some reason my milk let down faster than the two minutes that this machine would give you for your milk to start letting down I will go ahead and press that button and get going but like I said it took me a while <laughs> so here's how I would pump uh, and feed Selena at the same time I'll breastfeed her and I would pump so I would keep the bra on right I would keep one side in I would make sure that I moved this little yellow contraption over to cover the the air socket so that I'm getting more pressure and I would keep this zipped as high as I could and I would just kind of fold the bra down and I would feed her I tried feeding her through the hole she did not like that <laughs> So yeah, I just pulled this down and then I can feed her and I can pump at the same time. Now there was some challenges with that still because she liked to kick and grab and all that kind of stuff, but it worked and I needed it to work because I needed more milk. <laughs> so anyways, I hope this was helpful. Please share how what kind of breast pumps you guys are using. Uh, what your fears are, what you are looking forward to with breastfeeding and breast pumping with your baby. Uh, please log on to ashantel.com and become involved in Savvy Social Moms. We are here to support and help each other. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. So nipple cream is another thing that you're going to need. <laughs> uh, this one is by the first years. It's lanolin free nipple cream. Uh, I liked this one for different reasons. It was it was definitely very soft, um, but I didn't like it as much as the Lancinove. Is it the, no the Modella? The 